One CNC provides some great tools for keeping yourself organized when programming parts. Let me demonstrate. In fact, let's take a look at toolpath groups and machining operations. Now, a toolpath group, that's a container, and that container is going to hold all your machining operations. Well, you can rename the toolpath group if you'd like. I'm going to double click on that. And then where it says description, I'm just going to call this, let's keep it simple. How about just set up one and we'll click OK to that. Very good. Now you can do the same thing with your machining operations. You can give those different names as well. So if I were to double click on that, same thing, we're going to head over to where it says description. In this example, I'm just going to make a modification. Let's delete Z level and let's just type in pockets. In fact, 0.5 and let's add EM for in mill, 0.5 in mill. Okay, so click OK to that. Now we're saying rough pockets, 0.5 in mill. Let's do it one more time for one of these drilling operations. We're going to double click and where it says description, let's type in drill holes 0.25 DR for drill and click OK to that. Very, very nice. All right, so to sum things up, you can rename your machining operations and you can also rename your toolpath groups. Now, speaking of toolpath groups, you can make additional toolpath groups if you want to. All right, so if I right hand mouse click, we'll select new group. Let's rename that. Again, let's keep it really simple. Let's just call this one setup2. That looks good. We'll click OK to that. And now what you have are two complete separate containers. This toolpath group can be previewed, simulated, and of course create a CNC program. This additional toolpath group can also create CNC code, simulate, preview toolpath. In fact, to activate this toolpath group, just right hand mouse click, select activate group, and then do whatever you'd like. So for example, let's just put a really quick profile operation on this. I'm just going to use the default parameters here. Let's click through this. I think all this looks good. Let's click that so it's the same finish and that looks fine. So now we have two separate toolpath groups. Each toolpath group can be simulated, previewed, and create its own separate CNC program. Very, very nice. All right. Hey, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.